All right, so today what we want to do is we want to look at our dashboard. And, you know, this is a pretty plain looking dashboard. Um, I really want to spice it up with Prometheus and Gafana. So I did some research on it and I came across this uh, article like up here where it's unraid data monitoring with Prometheus and Gafana. And I really like how that dashboard looks and I really want to kind of mimic that. So basically, I'm going to go through this um, tutorial here and kind of show you how I um, set mine up. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we want to do is grab Grafana. So to grab Grafana, we'll go over to our apps. And then we're just going to type in Grafana. And then once I have Grafana, I already like to get the official builds. So I'll just go ahead and hit install. And one of the things that I like to do is my network type. Um, I made a custom one to um, show metrics. So I'll just go ahead and um, put that in there for my network type. Just keep all my metrics on the same network. And we go down here and we look. And then here's one thing that we need to do is change this P1 to our server name. So if you look, mine's um, on. 2.79 so I have that listed down here and we'll just go ahead and hit apply and then installing Grafana is going to be that simple and we'll just wait till this is done all right so we're done we'll just go ahead and hit done right now all right so the next thing we want to do is to look for Prometheus and then once we find Prometheus here's the official build We'll go ahead and hit this and we'll hit install. And we'll go down here. The only thing I'm going to change is my network type to my custom metrics type. And we'll go down here and we'll hit apply and we'll just wait for that to be done. All right, so now that that's done, we'll just hit done here. And we'll go back and look at um, Prometheus. And what we're going to do is we're going to look for this um, node exporter. So looking at this, it's a plugin uh, that's gathered from my Unraid systems and provided to the Prometheus database. So we're just going to hit install here. And once that's done, we'll just go ahead and hit on done and we'll move on to the next step. All right, so it looks like our next step, we got this um, Prometheus file that we can download. And once it's downloaded, we will add this to our app data Prometheus um, ETC um, folder. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so we'll have our download folder um, over here. And we'll just hit the Prometheus YAML file and it's gonna download it. So once it's downloaded, what we need to do is we'll just um, end up double clicking it here and then right here what we need to change is where this says your unraid IP so I'm going to put my IP in there so I know it's this 192.16.2.79 and I'm just going to go ahead and um, save it and once I'm saved I'll just exit out of it and then I can move this download screen over Go back to my apps <clears throat> and then go over here where it says um, shares. We'll go to our app data. We'll go to Prometheus. We'll go to the ETC file. And then we'll go ahead and we'll hit upload. And then we'll upload that YAML file that we edited and hit open. And then from here, what we're going to end up doing is going back over to our Docker containers and we'll be able to start Prometheus. So we'll go ahead and hit start. And if all things go well, it'd be um, started. All right, so now that we got it started, what we're going to do is going to go over here and we'll go to the web UI. And here we have like no data is queried yet, but that's okay. So what we're going to end up doing is go up here to status. And then we'll hit targets and we'll have two different targets down here and what we want to do is um, 
we want to know that we have our targets here. We know that they're up, and it looks like we need to go to our Docker page and start the Kafana web UI. So let's go ahead and start the Kafana web UI. And it's going to ask for your user ID and password. So by default, is admin and admin. We're going to go ahead and log in. And then it's going to ask us to put in a new password. So we'll go ahead and do that now. All right, so now that we're in Gafana, what we want to do is go over here and hit the uh, data sources. And then we're going to go to Prometheus. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And then we're going to keep everything the same. And right here, we have our HTTP localhost 9090. So what we're going to end up doing is we look at our Prometheus over here. We have it already up here. We can go ahead and copy that. Um, you know, we have it down here too, but <clears throat> we're just going to copy it from up here. And then um, don't click the 91,000. You want the 9090. So we'll go back over here to the data source. And I'm just gonna click, paste that in there. And I'm gonna take out the slash. We don't need the slash behind there. And then we're just gonna go down here and we're gonna hit save and test. And it says everything is uh, successful. All right. <clears throat> so since we have successful query, the uh, Prometheus API, we can go up here. And if we click this dashboard, like right here, these are some preset dashboard that's inside um, inside Gafana itself. So if I go and hit import, for example, and I click on this, this gives me some data information, like right here in a pre-configured dashboard. But you're like, you know, wait a minute, you know, we wanted that nice dashboard. So we're going to get there. So what we're going to go doing is we'll go back to our dashboards um, here. We'll go back to our home and I went too far back so I'm just going to hit this um, data sources tab right here and we're going to go back and this is the same one where we hit save and test and it's right there just to show you where we're at but what you want to do is you want to go up here and hit this build a dashboard um, up here so if I click on that now I have the chance to import a dashboard so if I import a dashboard, I go over here and I type in 1860, which is the nice dashboard that um, we showed at the beginning of the video um, from the tutorial. And we're just going to hit load. And then we're just going to make sure that we select Prometheus as our um, data source. And we're just going to go ahead and hit import. And there we are. We got that nice, you know, that nice data. Uh, so it has all the information that you could possibly want out of your server. And down here, you have additional information that we can set there and drop down and see different um, information on your um, Unraid. Um, <clears throat> so this is kind of nice and stuff. Um, you can sit there and play with it and customize it. So I'd kind of like to see what you know other people end up creating. Um, I'll probably play with this and create something. You know, myself, I just wanted something to get up there kind of quick and dirty. But um, let's see how we can sit there and customize this stuff in the future. So, all right. Well, that's it. So, you know, please like and subscribe. and helps out the channel a lot. So thank you.